Hey, what's up, and welcome back to another build tutorial where today I'm going to show you how to build your own zoo in Minecraft. And this zoo features eight different enclosures, including polar bears, llamas, parrots, ocelots, turtles, pandas, dolphins, and mushroom. And as always, before I start a tutorial, I'd really appreciate a little smash on that like button as it does help me out, and I'd highly appreciate that. But let's not waste any more time and let's crack on with the build. Here are all the materials that you will need for this build. All the dimensions that you will need for this build are shown here. First up, I'm just going to grab myself some grey concrete to begin with. And if I just go to the front right corner, which is over here, I'm just going to place seven blocks going up vertically. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. And I'm just going to extend this along until I reach the corner just there. So that should leave you with a nice 7x7 seven seven wall just there. I'm just going to mirror that on the other side. So if I go to the left corner, again, I'm going to build up 7 blocks. And then extending that all the way across another 6 more times. So that will leave you with two large walls like this. And then going to the front here, going to the left hand side at the top here, I'm just going to place three grey concrete going down like that. I'm just going to extend that across until I meet with the other side. So just until I meet with that side just over there like that. And I'm just going to mirror that on the other side. So placing three just there and extend that across to meet with the other side once more. So that should leave you with something that looks like this. And next, just on each side, I'm going to grab myself some green concrete. And just on this point here, I'm going to place two going out like that. I'm just going to extend this going all the way along. Just for the entire length of the gap underneath. So you should end up something that looks like this. And I'm just going to remember that on the other side. So from that point, placing two green concrete coming out like that. I can send that across. Just until I'm one block away, just there. Next up, I'm then going to grab myself some smooth quartz. Starting at the front here, I'm just going to count across from this point. One, two, three, four, five blocks. And on that fifth block, I'm going to place a pillar of quartz going up like that. And then I'm going to leave a gap of five and place another pillar. Leave a gap of five and place finally another pillar just like that. I'm just going to mirror that on the other side. So just lining everything up with the other side there. And then sticking with the smooth quartz, just on the top here for the roof. From this point, I'm just going to go down one. And I'm just going to place a strip of quartz going along like that. I'm just going to extend this going all the way along to meet with the side over there. That will leave you with a roof like this. Next, I'm then going to grab a whole stack of oak leaves here. And there's no specific way of doing this. I'm just going to scatter all these leaves randomly on this roof. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64, like that. And as you see, that'll give us a nice leafy roof for a little bit of extra detail there. But yeah, again, no specific way of doing this. Just do it so you get a nice kind of like random pattern similar to mine. Next, I'm then going to grab myself some black stained glass panes here. And first, just on these end gaps here, I'm just going to fill each of these up with some black stained glass panes here. That's the first window done, and I'm filling in the other one on the right here. So that will fill two windows like that. I'm just going to mirror that on the other side. 
So again, filling these end windows. And the next for these middle gaps, I'm just going to place one row of glass panes just on each side. Or some doors there. You should end up with something that looks like this. And the next, I'm then going to grab myself some birch planks. And first, I'm just going to place some planks in the gaps where each of the windows and doors are. Just like this. And then after that, I'm just going to fill in this whole middle area with all these birch planks for all of the floor here. And as this is the zoo entrance, I'm going to add just two rows of glass panes in the middle here just to divide the entrance and exit areas. Next, I'm going to grab myself a birch sign. And firstly, just on this block here, so the second one down, I'm just going to place a sign and it's going to say entrance. I'm going to do that sign there with four dashes like that. And below, I'm going to put no entry with four dashes and a sign going the other way there. And then I'm just going to do a similar thing on the other side. Firstly, on this block, I'm going to put exit and I'm going to do a left sign like that. And then three dashes. And below that, I'm going to put no entry. And then four dashes and a right sign like that. Just so guests know where they're going. And the next up for the main zoo sign. So for that, I'm just going to grab myself a smooth quartz block, a smooth quartz slab, and a smooth quartz stair here. So firstly, from this point, if I just count across one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. And on that sixth block, is that the back there? I'm just going to place firstly one smooth quartz like that. And the next to it, I'm going to add two smooth quartz slabs. And I'm going to add one slab going diagonally up, followed by two smooth quartz slabs like that. And then I'm just going to add another two slabs on the left there, and that will form our Z. And then four and O. With the smooth quartz block, I'm just going to place one, two, leave a gap, and then place another two. And then I'm going to place a smooth quartz slab on top of those two pillars like that. And then I'm going to place a slab on the bottom and a slab on the top. I'm just going to repeat that once more. So I'm going to leave a gap, and then I'm going to place two smooth quartz blocks like that. Leave a gap, place another two. And then a slab on each of these pillars there, followed by a slab on the bottom and a slab on the top. As you see, that will spell zoo there and then for some animal signs for the left one with these smooth quartz stairs on this point i'm going to count across two blocks on that block i'm just going to place one stair going in that direction like that and then i'm going to place another stair going in the other direction on the other side there and then on the right i'm going to place a smooth quartz block followed by a slab on the left and then another slab just in the middle there and they slab going diagonally up like that. And that'll create our first animal sign. And to me, it kind of looks like a monkey because of the long tail here. But it could be anything. So then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So first, from this point, if I was counting across two blocks, on that block, I'm going to place one smooth quartz stair like that, followed by another one on the other side going in the other direction. And on top of this block, I'm going to add a smooth quartz block, followed by a slab. And then I'm going to add a slab just on the end there. And the slab going up like that. So by doing this, that will complete the main structure of the zoo entrance here. So next up, I'm just going to show you how to decorate the entrance area to begin with. So first, I'm just going to grab myself some white shulker boxes. And then just from this point, I'm going to place three boxes going along like that. I'm just going to place another three rows of three on top. Or some cabinets. And for the desk where all the tickets are checked and stuff, I'm just going to grab myself some green concrete to begin with. And I'm just going to firstly place one, two, three, four blocks going along like that. I'm then going to grab myself a birch trap door. And I'm just going to place one on the end there. Now if I go to the other side, I'm just going to grab myself 
a heavy weight pressure plate. I'm just going to place one on each end like that. And I've got a little laptop. I'm going to grab myself a stone pressure plate, which I'm just going to put there. And then I'm going to grab myself an iron jack door, which I'm going to place behind it. I'm also going to grab myself a lever. I'm just going to place one below in order to flip it up and down. And then in front of that trap door, I'm going to add a painting. And for a little mouse, I'm going to grab myself a stone button. I'm just going to place one just next to it, just like that. And for a chair, I'm going to grab myself a, another smooth quartz slab. I'm just going to place it in front of the laptop. I'm also going to grab myself an iron door. I'm just going to place one behind the slab. And then finally, I'm going to grab myself a green banner. I'm going to place one in front of that iron door there. So that'll complete the entrance area. And the next, for the exit area, where there's going to be a little mini gift shop. For that first seat, I've got some more green concrete here. From this point, I'm going to place two blocks going out like that. Followed by another two on the other side. And then with the heavyweight pressure plate, I'm going to place two on the left. I'm going to leave a gap and place another one. And I thought a little till design, I'm going to grab myself a stone brick stair. I'm just going to put one just there. And then for some shelves, I'm going to grab myself another smooth quartz slab. And then just from this point, to the furthest point to the left, I'm just going to place five blocks going along like that. And even half a gap, I'm going to place another two rows like so there. And then I'm going to grab myself some item frames. I'm just going to place item frames in front of each of these slabs. And then next, I'm going to fill all these item frames up with all sorts of different gifts you can get from the zoo. So I'm going to grab myself firstly painting I'm just going to place these in the top like that some nice pictures and stuff and then I'm going to grab myself a book I'm going to place five books like that and then finally for some kind of like soft toys and stuff I'm going to grab myself firstly a tropical fish a puffer fish a cod a turtle helmet and also a sea pickle I'm just gonna place these on the bottom just like that and that'll complete the zoo gift shop area so now with the main zoo entrance done I can now start actually building the zoo itself so for this first thing I'm just gonna grab myself some gray concrete and just where this whole line border is I'm just gonna place gray concrete on top of it so just following the whole border all the way around it but this is going to be the main fence for our zoo so by the end you should have something that looks like this and then just starting on the left hand side I'm just gonna from this point I'm gonna count across one two three four five on that fifth block I'm just gonna place three grey concrete going up like that and then I'm going to leave a gap of five and place another pillar of three gap of five and then another pillar of three and then in between these gaps I'm going to grab myself some move quartz slabs here and in between each of these gaps I'm just going to place three rows of five going along like this so just leaving a half a block gap in between so just doing that for each of these gaps here So I'm just going to continue this whole fence design going all the way around this whole border here. So again, just starting from this point, leaving a gap of five, placing a pillar of three there, and I'm placing three rows of five. So just continuing to do that, going all the way around. So by the end, you should end up with a fence like this. And just to clarify, each fence should have a pillar of grey concrete on each side with a gap of five full of these quartz slabs going along like that. So next up to finish all the outside details before we work in the main zoo area. First up, I'm just going to grab myself some smooth stone just there. And I'm just going to replace this whole grey concrete border that I showed you at the start. I'm just going to replace all of that with all of this smooth stone. And that will leave you with something that looks like this. And then with the smooth stone, just going into this corner here on the left. 
I'm just going to place promise point. I'm going to count one, two, three. On that block, I'm going to place one bit of smooth stone there. I'm just going to extend that going across to the other side. Just like that. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. The promise point counting across one, two, three blocks. On that third block, placing that with some smooth stone. And the final point, I'm just going to extend this going along until I meet with the other side. Just there. And then next, with the smooth stone, I'm just going to fill this whole front section at the front here up with all of this smooth stone. Starting from the left-hand side here, I'm just going to fill this whole section. So that'll leave you with something that looks like this. And the next, I'm just going to grab myself a grass block. I'm just going to replace these little white guides with it. So just doing that on each side here. But as you see, by marking all this out, we have got a nice grass area on each side. And the next up, I'm going to grab myself some saplings. So I'm going to grab myself an oak sapling and some bone mill. And firstly, just at the front here, I'm going to add three oak saplings on this side. And again, no specific way of placing these. Just place them so they're nicely spread apart like that. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'm just going to bone mill each of these. And we'll see what trees we get. And then on the left hand side, I'm then going to place another six saplings. Three, four, five, and then six. So just being like randomly distributed across like that. Again, no specific way of doing it. And then doing the same thing on this side. So one, two, three, four, five six saplings like that and I'm just going to bone mill each of them and then once all the trees have been grown like that sticking with the bone mill starting from the left hand side I'm just going to place one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen bits of bone mill on that side I'm going to place 13 on the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Just like that. And that will create a nice little grass area for around the fence of the zoo here. And for some extra details, I'm just going to add some benches outside. So for that, I'm just going to grab myself firstly some oak stairs. Starting on the left-hand side, from this point, I'm going to count across one, two, three, four blocks. On that fourth block, I'm just going to place three oak stairs like that. And then I'm going to leave a gap of three and place another three oak stairs. And then I'm going to grab an oak sign. I'm just going to place one sign on the side of each stair here. Finished off the benches. Like so. And then for the bin, I'm going to grab myself a cauldron. I'm going to place one in the middle there. And then I'm going to grab myself an oak trapdoor and place a trapdoor just on top of that cauldron. So I'm just going to mirror that on the other side here. So again, from this point, I'm going to count across one, two, three, four blocks. On that fourth block, I'm going to place three oak stairs like that. I'm going to leave a gap of three and place another three stairs. And then again, on the side of each of these stairs, I'm going to place another oak sign. Just placing these on each side. And then in the middle, I'm going to add a cauldron with a oak trap door just on top for another bin there. So with the whole zoo exterior complete, I can now start showing you how to create the interior. And as this is quite a complex layout, I provided a pixelated chart which shows you where to place everything block by block which you can follow. So I'll put that on the screen now and I'll also put a high resolution copy in the description. So all you've got to do is follow that chart which will leave you with markings that look like this. So I know this is a little bit different to what I'd usually show you but I do feel this way is the easiest. So next up I'm going to grab myself some stone and if I just go to this corner just over here 
First thing, I'm just going to place stone outlining the outer edges of each section. I'm just going to do this going all the way around each enclosure here. That will leave you something that looks like this. I'm also going to outline this middle section as well, just on the outside. So that will leave you something that looks like this. And then sticking with the stone, I'm just going to fill in all of the area just in between each of these enclosures. So by the end, that should leave you with something that looks like this. And the next up, for a water fountain, I'm firstly going to grab myself a smooth quartz slab. And if I just go to this point just here, I'm just going to count across one, two, three blocks. And from this point, I'm going to count across one, two, three, four, five. On that block, I'm just going to place one bit of smooth quartz just there. And I'm just going to place one either side. And on the left, I'm going to lead down by one, doing the same on the right. And then I'm just going to place three rows on each side there. With one slab going inwards on each side, followed by one row just like that. And the next, I'm going to grab myself a smooth quartz block. And I'm just in the middle here, I'm just going to place one, two, three, four, five, just going up like that. And the next, I'm just going to dig this area down by one, just like this. And then with some more stone, I'm just going to fill in the bottom, all of it, just there. And then to finish the fountain off, I'm just going to grab myself a water bucket, and I'm just going to place that on top we'll finish our fountain and the next I'm just going to add some extra benches so using the same design that we've done earlier but this time I'm going to use some Burt stairs and let's also grab a sign first if I start on the right here I'm going to place three stairs just there so just leaving a gap of one there I'm just going to place a sign on each side I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side placing three like that followed by a sign on each side and I'm also going to place a bench just at the back there as well. So that'll complete our little kind of like entrance area. But next up, it's now time to start building each of the enclosures here. First up for the mushroom enclosure, which is going to be this front right one just over here. So for this firstly, I'm just going to grab myself some mycelium. And I'm just going to replace all of this grass with all of it and the next I'm just going to add the glass wall so for that I'm just going to grab myself some grey concrete I'm just going to place two on the left there and then two on the right and then I'm going to grab myself a glass block and I'm just going to build up a wall following the white outline just there And then next, I'm going to get myself a ladder. I'm just going to put one on each side like that. And then I'm also going to get myself a grey carpet. I'm just going to place some carpet on top of this wall here. Finish that off. But inside the enclosure, firstly, with some mycelium, just in this corner here. I'm going to place one, two, three, four coming out like that. And then another three on this other side there. And then going to place three in the middle. And then going to place two in the corner, followed by two coming out on the left there. And then moving over, just to this side over here, I'm going to place one, two, three mycelium like that. And then one in the middle. And the next, I'm then going to grab myself a red and brown mushroom. And also some bone meal. And then with the red mushroom, just on the right hand side here, I'm just going to place it on any random block here. So I'm just going to place one there. I'm just going to bone mill it to give us a big mushroom. And I'm just going to do the same thing with the brown one. So come to the left hand side, placing the brown one in a random area there. And then bone mealing that to give us a large mushroom there. And then for some extra decoration, I'm just going to add one, two, three, four, five mushrooms randomly scattered like that. Along with 
one, two, three, four, five brown mushrooms scattered randomly as well. And remember, there's no specific way of doing all these little details. Just place them similarly to how I have. So with the mushroom enclosure completed, I can now add three mushrooms inside. I've just got some name tags here, which I've renamed in the anvil. So I'm going to call these mushrooms Tyler, Betty, and Ruth. But feel free to name your animals how you like. That will complete the mushroom enclosure. Next up for the panda enclosure here. For this first if I just go to this point just there, I'm just going to dig out firstly four blocks like that, followed by two, followed by another four, followed by another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, followed by another one, two, three, followed by another two, and then by another three, and then by another six, just like that. And then I'm just going to replace that little bit of line border there with some grass. And then I'm just going to place the bottom of this river. I'm just going to replace that with some sand. Just like that. And then I'm just going to fill this up with some water to complete the panda's mini river here. And next up, I'm going to add a little bridge. So for that, I'm just going to get myself some jungle slabs. And I'm just going to place four just there. And the next, I'm going to add a little palm tree. So for that, I'm just going to grab myself some jungle logs to begin with. And just starting from this point, I'm going to count across one, two, three. And I'm going to count down one, two, three, four. And on that block, I'm just going to place one jungle log like that. Then I'm going to place another one going down across. Followed by another two on top. And then I'm going to add another two going across, just like that. Followed by a final one going up diagonally there. For the tree, firstly, I'm just going to grab myself some jungle leaves. I'm just going to put one on there to begin with. Then on this side, I'm going to add two coming out, followed by another two going down like that. I'm just going to replicate that on this side, on the other side here. And to finish the tree off, I'm just going to add one leaf just there. And underneath, I'm going to add a little swing. So for the swing, I'm going to get some chains. And also some deep slate tile slabs. I'm just going to place one, two, three, four chains going down like that. And then on this side, placing three. And underneath these chains, I'm going to add three deep slate tile slabs. which will complete the panda's little swing there. And next up, I'm going to grab myself some bamboo. And firstly, just on this area here, I'm just going to place randomly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bamboo like that. And again, no specific way of doing this, just doing it how you feel in that area. And then I'm going to do a similar thing on the other side. So in this corner, I'm going to place one, two, three, four, five like that. And then in this little section here, I'm going to place one, two, just there and then I'm going to grab myself some bone meal I'm just going to bone meal each of these just randomly just to grow them or you could just let them grow naturally which will leave you something that looks like this and to finish off with some bone meal I'm just going to place one, two, three, four, five bone meal just going around like that and the next, it's now time to add the next wall. So again, I'm going to grab some grey concrete, some glass, some grey carpet, and also some ladders. So again, two bits of grey concrete just on each side here. Followed by a glass wall. So again, placing that on what we've marked out here. And then on top, I'm just going to add some grey carpet. And then just on the right hand side here, I'm just going to add a ladder on each side. There. So with the panda enclosure done, I can now add the pandas. So let's just add three pandas here. And I'm going to name them Leo, Barry and Gloria. Just like that. 
And the reason I am name tagging these is so they don't despawn. Next up for the turtle enclosure. So for this firstly, I'm just going to dig this whole area down by three blocks. And that will leave you with something that looks like this. And firstly, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab myself some sandstone to begin with. Just going to this fence here, just in the middle point. I'm just going to go down and place one bit of sandstone there. And I'm going to go to this other fence over here. And just in this middle section, place some sandstone going down. And on each side, I'm just going to place two sandstone like that. Followed by another two on each side going in. Followed by two in the middle there. And then I'm just going to extend this diagonally up by one. Just like so here. And then just where all the sandstone is on this layer, I'm just going to extend that to fill in this area just here. And the next, I'm then going to grab myself some sand. And then just on this point here, I'm just going to place some sand just going inwards by one. Just like that. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of this area all in with sand. So that will leave you something that looks like this. And then sticking with the sand, I'm also going to fill in this bottom with all of it. Just like so there. And then moving back to the sandstone, I'm just going to fill in these walls with all of it. And neaten things off here. And the next, I'm just going to fill up this area here. Because that's where all the turtles are going to swim. But this is going to be like a mini beach. So for that, I'm going to grab myself a water bucket. And the best way to fill this up is just, just by doing it layer by layer. So it's going in with the first layer to begin with. And then with, in with the second layer. And then finally in with the third layer. Just like that. And then to make that look a little bit more fancy, I'm going to add some blue and yellow coral. So I'm just going to put Three blue coral in there like that. Again, no specific way of doing this. Just placing it randomly. And I'm going to place another random three yellow as well. And that will also be followed by three random bits of sea grass. Just like that. I'm also going to add a few extra pebbles on the beach. So for that, I'm just going to grab myself a stone button. I'm just going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 stone buttons like that. Again, you're not copying me exactly here. Just placing them randomly how you feel. We should end up with something similar. Just like that. And the next for the wall. So again, grabbing all the same materials that we used last time. Just going to place two grey concrete in the corners here. And then placing all of the glass going around. Like so. Just like that. And then next, I'm then going to grab myself a ladder. And I'm just going to place one on each side on this point there. And to finish these walls off, I'm just going to top all this off with grey carpet. Like so. So now the enclosure is ready to add turtles. So I'm just going to add three turtles here. And I'm going to rename these Trina, Roy and Tim. Next up for the ocelot enclosure. So for this firstly, I'm just going to dig this whole area down by one, two blocks. Which will leave you with something that looks like this. And the next, I'm just going to grab myself some packed mud. And I'm just going to replace the whole bottom floor of this area in with all of it. And the next, I'm then going to grab myself a stripped spruce log. I'm just going to replace all of these outer edges in with all of these spruce logs here. Which will leave you with something that looks like this. And next up, I'm going to add some palm trees. So I'm going to grab myself a jungle log and some jungle leaves. For the first one, I'm just going to place this one just here. I'm just going to place two jungle logs going up like that to begin with. 
followed by another two, actually three going up like that. And the next, I'm going to place one jungle leaf on top. And for this one, I'm just going to place two coming out at the front and back there, followed by one on the left and the right. And then I'm just going to place two jungle leaves drooping off each of these points here. That'll give us the first tree. And then for the second tree, I'm just going to place it just there. So just three blocks away from this point just over there. So I'm just going to place two jungle wall logs like that to begin with, followed by all going up like that, followed by another two. Just like so there. For the tree, I'm just going to place one jungle leaf on top like that, followed by two leaves coming out of each point just there. And then from each of these points, I'm just going to add two jungle leaves going diagonally down. Just like this. We should complete the next palm tree there. And then for some boulders, I'm just going to grab myself some stone. And firstly, I'm just going to place one, two, three stone going diagonally across from that palm tree there. I'm just going to thicken that by one more like that. And then I'm just going to place three coming out like that, followed by one in the gap there. And then I'm going to add one, two, three, four blocks like that, plus one on the end. And then just going behind, I'm just going to add one and then another two, just like that. I'm also going to add another little boulder just in this corner here. So I'm just going to place one, two, three blocks like that, followed by one, two, three, four, and then followed by another one, two, three. So another little boulder like that. And the next, I'm also going to grab myself some composters or some feeding troughs there. I'm just going to place these just there. And the next, I'm going to grab myself some more jungle leaves. I'm just going to scatter some randomly around this. So I'm just going to scatter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15 just like that so there's no specific way of doing this we're just scattering them so you end up with something similar to mine here and the next for some apparatus for the ocelots to play on i'm just going to grab myself some oak fences and slabs i'm just going to place one two fences going up like that and then i leave a gap of three and place another two fences like so and then with the oak slabs i'm then going to place five slabs going along like that and I've got another little bridge just going underneath here. I'm just going to place from this point one slab like that. Followed by two going across. Followed by another one. And underneath that slab, I'm just going to add one fence like so. And that will complete the apparatus for this section here. And to finish off this enclosure, again, grabbing the same materials like last time. I'm just going to place two grey concrete on the ends there and then adding another glass wall going around the areas we marked to relieve us on like that and then again to finish off adding some more grey carpet on top oh and I'm also going to need to add some more ladders in order for zookeepers to get out so just on the left hand side here placing three ladders on that side followed by one just on the other side so with the ocelot enclosure done I can now add some ocelots so I'm just going to add Three ocelots in here and I'm going to call them Chris, Laura and Finley. So that will complete the ocelot enclosure. Next up for the parrot enclosure here. For this firstly, for some apparatus to the parrots, I'm just going to grab myself a jungle fence, some jungle pressure plates and also some chains. For this firstly, if I just start from this point, I'm going to count across one, two, three, four, five blocks like that. On that block, firstly, I'm just going to place one jungle fence like that. I'm then going to place one on the top and then one on the left. And then extend this middle one up by two more. And then I'm going to leave a gap of three and then place three fences like that, followed by two in the middle going up. And then I'm going to leave another gap of three, then I'm going to place 
one fence like that. One on the right, one on the bottom, and another two in the middle there. And then with these chains, I'm just going to link these middle points together as like a little trail for the parrots to walk on. Just like so. And to finish these off, I'm just going to add some pressure plates there. Which parrots can rest on. And then for some extra bushes, I'm going to be using some jungle logs and leaves. So first, if I just start at this point here, I'm going to place one log there, followed by one leaf on top, one leaf in front, two going out, and one going out on the other side there. I might do another one in this corner. So again, adding a jungle log there, followed by one leaf on top, four leaves going along like that, followed by three leaves. I might do another bush just here. So again, jungle log there, followed by three leaves going over like that, one leaf in front, and three going out like that. And then I'm also going to add, just randomly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten leaves. Just like so. And to finish this enclosure off, I'm going to grab some bone mill. I'm just going to place one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And the next, I can add the walls. So using the same materials as before. Firstly, with the grey concrete, I'm just going to this point here and um, this time I'm going to place four going up like that doing the same thing on this end here and then I'm going to place a glass wall following the outline here but this time it's going to be four blocks high which will leave you somewhere that looks like this and then to enter an exit I'm just going to get rid of these two blocks here and I'm just going to place an oak door there and to finish off this enclosure to make sure the parents don't escape I'm just going to grab myself some white stained glass I'm just going to fill the whole of this top layer in with all of it. Which will leave you with something that looks like this. And then finally, I'm going to grab myself some grey carpet. And then I'm just going to place that going around the outer edge. Just there. Just like so. Now this enclosure is ready for some parrots to be added. So let's add the parrots here. So I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five, six parrots like that. I'm going to call these Bill, Maria, Edna, Eric, Joe. Come on, Joe. Come back here. Need to name you. Oh, I did name you. Okay, cool. And then Tiffany. Where's Tiffany? And Tiffany just like that. That will complete the power enclosure here. Next up for the llama enclosure here. So for the llama enclosure, I'm just going to grab myself some sand to begin with. And I'm just going to fill this whole area in with all of this sand. Which will leave you with something that looks like this. And the next for a llama shelter, I'm going to grab myself an oak fence. And some oak slabs. And then just from this point here, the two blocks away from each side there. I'm just going to place three fences going up like that. And then I'm just going to leave a gap or two in between them. Just waiting for like that. And then with these oak slabs, I'm just going to place slabs going around the top of each of these fences here. Followed by four slabs just in the middle. And then I'm also going to grab myself some compositors. And I'm just going to place two just inside like that and if I was extra scenery I'm gonna grab myself some oak logs I'm just gonna place this first one just on this point going across one two three blocks on that block I'm gonna place one side oak log like that extend that way one more for the first log and for the next log from this point I'm gonna count across one two and on that block placing an oak log like that and extend that across by two more blocks and then one is gonna come out at the top there and finally, from this point, I'm going to count one, two blocks up on that block, placing a side oak log like so, and placing another two just behind it. And the next, from this point, I'm going to count across one, two, and then down by one. And on that point, I'm just going to place another oak log like that, extending that by another two. That's just going to add some logs into the llama area. And then for some grass, I'm going to grab myself some coarse dirt, 
also some grass like that. I'm just going to place this randomly around. There's no specific way of doing this. I'm just going to place five blocks. So one, two, three, four, and then five like that. So again, just doing that randomly. And then to finish off the enclosure, just putting the wall in like we've done with all the others. So placing two grey concrete is going up on these ends here. And then adding the glass wall following these lines that we marked out earlier. Just like that. And to finish off with the grey carpet, I'm just going to add carpet going on top. And then I'm also going to grab myself some ladders. And then just on the left hand side, I'm going to place a ladder on each side there. So this enclosure is now ready for some llamas. So here I can spawn all the llamas in here. So I'm just going to add three, just like so. And I'm going to call these llamas Keith, Joanna, and Bill. Just there. Next up for the polar bear enclosure. So for this, firstly, I'm just going to take all this area down by three blocks in total. Which will leave you with something that looks like this. And the next, I'm then going to grab myself this move quartz block. And I'm just going to replace, firstly, the area underneath this border with all of it. So just placing all of the area underneath, like so. And I'm also going to replace this wall with the quartz as well. So that should leave you with something that looks like this. And the next, I'm going to create the polar bear's cave. And that's going to be with this stone. So firstly, just lining with this point here, I'm going to place three stone going out like that. And I'm just going to move that on the other side. And then I'm just going to place two diagonally like that. And then I'm just going to fill in this area with all the stone. And then on each side, I'm going to add three stone like this. Followed by another row. Followed by another row of three on each side. I'm just going to connect these up in the middle like that. And then I'm just going to add a roof on top. Just like that. I'm just going to add a central rock here. So from this point, just there, I'm just going to place a bit of stone. I'm just going to place one, two, three, four blocks coming out of it like that. And from this point, I'm going to place one block there, followed by two, and followed by one going diagonally up, followed by three going up like that, followed by two going diagonally up, followed by one, two, three, four going diagonally across, followed by two like that and then I'm just going to fill in the area like this it should end up with some sort of rock like that I'm just going to add another rock on this corner here so I'm just going to place a row of five stone like that followed by four followed by two and followed by one on the end and then followed by another one just there I'm also going to add another little rock here so I'm just going to place three go along like that followed by two and followed by one in the middle and then for some more texture i'm going to grab myself a cobblestone i'm just going to place firstly three cobblestone in the middle of this iceberg plus another two on that one plus one on that and then plus another three just for the cave there and that'll create the main rocks and inside this cave i'm just going to grab myself a composter for some feeding troughs i'm just going to add one each of these corners and for this cave, I'm also going to add some stone just at the back here. Just going to line that. And I'm also going to add a little torch there for some light. And then I'm also going to grab myself a water bucket. I'm just going to fill in all of this extra area with all this water here. And then just like what we've done with all the other cages, again... Just adding in another wall using the same stuff. Again, adding two grey concrete on the ends here. And then adding a glass wall going around. Just like so. And to finish off, and some grey carpet on top. And then adding some ladders on the sides. And then three on the other side for the keepers. Just so the keepers can get in and out. Even though I don't know why they'd want to go inside with a polar bear. But let's just add three polar bears here. And I'm going to call them Herbert, Otto and Boris. 
that completes the polar bear enclosure. Now we've only got one more enclosure to do, which is the dolphin one. So for this first leak, I'm just going to dig all of this area down by three blocks. By the end, it should end up with something that looks like this. And the next, I'm going to grab myself some light blue concrete. I'm just going to replace all of these dirt walls going around in with all of it. So that will leave you with something that looks like this. And the next, I'm then going to grab myself some yellow fog lights. I'm just going to place these going around the inner edge. Which will leave you with something that looks like this. And just where all of the stone is here, I'm just going to replace all of that with some sand. Which will leave you with something that looks like this. And the next, I'm going to add the wall. And just using the exact same design, like before. I'm just going to place glass going all the way around this white border here. Just placing two rows of glass just like this. And then just adding grey carpet on top. And eating it off. And then next, I'm just going to fill this whole enclosure with water. I'm just going to fill it up until I get to this level just there. Just the bottom part of the glass wall. So I'm just going to fill it up layer by layer. So starting with the first layer here. And as you see, just by going around the edges there, it should fill up. And I'm repeating that for the other three levels here. By the end, it should end up with something that looks like this. So the pool all nice and filled up. And then for some decoration, I'm going to add some yellow and blue coral. So I'm just going to place randomly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coral like that. So again, I'm doing this all random. And then I'm going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue coral randomly as well. And then with that, I'm also going to add eight seagrass randomly. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, this is all random. You don't need to exactly copy what I'm doing. Just spreading it out similarly to how I have. And then finally, I'm going to get some kelp. I'm going to add another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Like so. So with all the stuff added at the bottom... That is the dolphin enclosure all complete. Oh, and I also need to add a ladder here. The zookeepers can get in and out if they need to. So I'm just going to add one dolphin in here. And that dolphin is going to be called Gary for me. And there we have it. That is all of the animal enclosures all complete. And for some extra detail, I'm going to add some lecterns going around with a book and quilt on. Just for some animal information there. So first, I'm just going to place one here for the polar bears. One here for the llamas. One here for the parrot. One here for the ocelots. And then one here for the turtles. One here for the pandas. And then one here for the mushrooms. And then finally, one here for the dolphins. And there we have it. That is the whole interior of the zoo all complete. But there is still one little detail to add on the outside which is, of course, a panda banner. So I'm going to be making two of these banners in total. But I'm just going to show how to make one copy here. So I'm going to put the loom down and in with the white banner. And first, I'm going to add the flower charge pattern with the black dye. Get something like that. And the next, in with the white dye, I'm going to add the tarf pattern here, followed by some black dye with the three triangles like that. And then followed by some more white dye with this stripe in the middle. And then followed by some black dye with the creeper pattern here. And to finish off with some white dye, I'm going to add a stripe that's on the bottom there. And you will need to do this two times, but as you see, I'm just going to place these banners on each of these pillars here. Some nice panda banners there. And there we have it. With those panda banners placed, that is the zoo all complete. So I hope you did enjoy this tutorial and I hope you are pleased with the final result. And if you did enjoy, I'd really appreciate a little smash on that like button as it does help me out and I'd highly appreciate that. But yeah, so until next time, thanks for watching and have a good day.